The Russians have made our fun. Do you have any vodka? <laughs> Hi folks, nice to on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today I received the Yodaphone 2 straight from Russia. This is the world's first smartphone that has a 1080p screen and an e-ink on the back. So let's go take a look. Let's go do this, baby. Alright guys, so I ordered this on eBay. Came straight from Russia, as you can see here. And actually, it took about a week. Uh, around, I think I paid about 700 bucks or something. Uh, but I really like this. When I first heard about the Yodaphone 2, I really liked it because of the fact that it has a an e-ink back on the back. Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox it. This is the package it comes in. And uh, it's, it's really funny how they use stamps. I guess they don't have those, those uh, labels there over there. But anyway, let's go ahead and unbox it. This is the Yodaphone 2. And the last time I ordered a smartphone on eBay, it was a fake Note 4. Hopefully this is not a fake phone. It's supposed to be Yodaphone 2. All right. What the heck? Okay, I'm, I'm just a little bit worried this is not Yodaphone 1. I'm, I just checked my eBay and uh, I've ordered Yodaphone 2. But it doesn't say Yodaphone 2. But I think this is still is Yodaphone 2, or I'm hoping. And let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. And there is a bunch of stickers here. And yes, it is the Yodaphone 2, I think. Yes, this is the Yodaphone 2. I don't know why they didn't put 2 on the phone itself. That almost had me worried there. Uh, Not coming out. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. This is a Yoda phone. Let me go ahead and show you what's inside. This got a actually pretty nice box. It's got SIM ejector pin. Also, it's got earbuds. Ooh, these are actually nice looking earbuds. I actually like them. And a bunch of uh, replacement earbuds in different sizes. Look, it's got the also different uh, different styles of earbuds, which is really cool. And boom shakalaka. So nice rope chargers from Yodaphone. And also the actual charger is over here. All right. So this is actually for Russia and South Korea also uses this. You can get an adapter for it and use it. But I have a bunch of adapters. But uh, nice design for the adapters. Really getting into the nitty gritty. I really like that. One plus one was also doing that. So really good stuff with the box itself. So very nice. But let's go ahead and take a look at the phone. I'm going to go ahead and insert the SIM real quick. But before I do that, let me go ahead and give you a close up of what this phone looks like. So it is sort of a uh, elliptical corners here, followed by e-ink on the back. And I'm going to go ahead and use the SIM tool. This is gonna be great if you have like a grocery list or something, um, you can go ahead and put it on the back of your phone. You never have to waste the battery on your phone and then you can take a look at your grocery list. You know, awesome idea, I love this. That's why I got it. All right, here is the SIM ejection tool. I'm gonna to probably use this as a daily driver uh, for a while now. The SIM card slot is actually integrated with the volume buttons. Uh, very innovative, I think. All right, here is the SIM card slot. I'm gonna go ahead and insert my T-Mobile SIM and boom shakalaka. So I've got the, my SIM card in there. This is an unlocked phone, so you can use it on any GSM network. Let me go ahead and power on the bad boy. All right, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like on the side. We've got the volume rockers, the power button. That is the micro USB and I think two speakers. And the back, this is the back of the phone while it's booting up. So the screen actually changed when I booted up and also you got a camera there. This is actually an 8 megapixel camera. It's telling me in Russian to I think flip to the front here. And yes, you should be able to use another language. And these are all the languages it supports. All right, I really like the stock look of this Yoda phone. It's pretty much running stock Android uh, with additional software, I guess. And let's go ahead and actually take a look here. Uh, so it is on the AOSP ROM, it's running Android 4.4.3 KitKat, it's so very good stuff. This 
phone is going to be awesome for uh, reading magazines, reading books and stuff. I mean, I think this is really the future of phones and Yodafone really did it. The Yodafone is actually a pretty small phone. It's a little bit taller and a lot narrower than a Moto X. And compared to an LG G3, uh, it's just narrower. So it is a pretty small phone and I wish actually they made a bigger unit. But let's go ahead and look at the core feature of this phone, which is the e-ink. Go ahead and turn the phone off. When it's off, uh, it's going to go ahead and display whatever you want. And it's actually not using any energy at this moment. To unlock the phone, um, you can actually swipe like this. And this is your home screen. And you have a bunch of different home screens that you can actually go to. Uh, it's a little bit quirky sometimes. Um, I'll have to play with it more. But you can also actually sh just go straight into your home screen. And the resolution is a little bit dithery, as you can see. I wouldn't actually use it for everyday stuff. Uh, but this is going to be great for reading books or stuff that uh, you may want to do under the sun. Uh, I just took it out to the sun just now in California sun and you can just read books really well. Actually, let me go ahead and load up a book real quick here. All right, here is a book. Now, one thing I noticed is that, I don't know if you can see there, the the resolution isn't actually great when you actually read the books. I mean, it's readable, but I wish it could be a little bit better. Uh, but, you know, I'm not complaining. It's the world's first phone that has two displays and the one you can read in the sun. Let's actually go out to the sun real quick together. and Let me show you how good this screen is. All right, guys, so here is my Note Edge screen with brightness all the way up. And as you can see, in direct sunlight, you can barely read it. All right, now check out the Yoda phone too. So that's the difference, and this is pretty awesome. Another really cool thing about the Yoda phone too is that you can actually use the camera uh, with the e-ink, uh, which means you'll be able to take great selfies uh, using the full power of the rear camera without using any kind of rotating cameras or a software mode to actually detect your face. You can freely take photos. I mean, you're not going to get the best uh, look on it, but uh, I mean, you're going to be able to actually get that shot you want. All right, if you want to go back to the other side, simply press the power button and uh, you should be able to go. There we go. You should be able to go to the other side easily. And let's actually take a look at the photo we just took. Obviously, that's not the best shot because I have the light shining on me there. You should be able to take some great selfies with this phone. All right, guys, there's actually a bunch of panels. You can also customize, put your shortcuts, or maybe put uh, some information that you want to actually be on there. Maybe you check the weather very often. Then you can have this thing permanently on there when your screen is off. That way, you don't have to turn your phone on. You can go ahead and check the time. Uh, go ahead and check the weather all of your favorite stuff. Let me go ahead and show you that real quick here. Our Yoda Phone 2 comes with Yoda Hub or Yoda Apps. Uh, and uh, you can go ahead and go to Yoda Hub here. You can either choose Yoda Cover or Yoda Panel. You can go ahead and choose from a different number of panels, or you can actually make your own panel, put the apps you want. Um, so very nice way to customize the back of your phone. So actually, let's do one real quick together here. I'm going to go ahead and choose this. And then I'll go ahead and uh, maybe put some apps there and maybe put my calendar and then you can also put weather and you can go ahead and put uh, some other stuff here. So once you have done all this, you can go ahead and use this as an extra panel that will show up. And uh, this is all the panels right now I have. And let me go ahead and show you that real quick. All right, so the panel I just added should be in the end over here somewhere. Oh, this is it. So this is the panel I just added. You can add more panels if you want. Overall, I think this could be future of smartphones on the back where you have the e-ink and the, on the front, you have the regular LCD. The stock Android is really nice on this phone. The e-ink is great for displaying information, reading books in the sun. Also saves a ton of battery life. You could probably go a whole week just on the e-ink. Amazon should have made their Kindle phone like this. And thanks guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up for me. And that was a review of the Yoga Phone 2, the world's first phone with the e-ink display on the back. Pretty cool stuff. And I'll have a full review soon. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, I stay.